Hey guys, Jeremy Hood here. I have a motorhome with a dead engine battery, which is that one, and a live house battery, which is in the back. So I'm tracing this wire down. It goes down and up to here, and across the side, over to this thing, which this cover says alt, which I assume is an alternator. I don't know for sure but if I trace that wire back now to that thing that appears to be where the house battery connects <clears throat> so this is the wire from the engine battery going back to a connection which loops around to this and this goes over to here and I don't know what this gizmo is probably like a one-way valve for electricity and then this is a connection to the house battery so the way I could confirm that was when I plugged into the took my voltmeter and plugged it on and hooked it up to the engine battery here. Let's just grant jam the negative in there and connect the positive. It's at about 11.2 volts. And then I came over here. And let's hook the neutral up to just somewhere on the body like that and then hook the positive to that little thing that says alt which I imagine is the alternator let's see what the voltage is changing my ground I just wedged it in there and scratched that up a bit you can see getting 11.2 out of that thing and then if I check this one back here on the right that's giving me oh, it was there we go 12.8 so that's the good battery all right so now what I'm gonna do pause the video and <clears throat> disconnect the good battery and hook it to where the bad battery is and let it sit for a while all right so I have that just took that off and just kind of dangling it on that other bolt and I kind of scraped it up a bit so it'd make a bit of a contact all that was holding it on was a lock washer and a nut so now over here you can see this battery I got my voltmeter plugged into the engine battery again it's 12 it's not 11.2 it's charging a little bit uh, and it is going up a bit so hopefully that means it's charging uh, one thing I wanted to point out you don't want to try to start the engine when you're in this configuration I feel like it would draw too much energy from your house battery and your house battery is not made to start an engine it's made to have a low amount of current coming out of it all the time the engine battery is made to have a large amount of current drawn from it at once so I'm just gonna let it charge up for a while and then try to uh, and then I'm gonna disconnect the house battery before I try to start it once it starts then I'll go ahead and hook that house battery back up again now I should clarify something else too this is probably much easier to just jump start your motorhome by connecting this to your car if you're towing a car I happen to not have a car with me right now nor anyone around to jump start me so that's why I'm having to do this little trick and I'm fortunate that the house battery is charged because uh, typically if the engine battery is dead probably the house battery is dead too but in this case I got lucky so now you can see this is going up from 11.2 now it's up to 12.3 12.23 I mean hopefully that keeps going up and then I'll try and start it in a little bit. While I was waiting for this to charge, I went ahead and took that nut and put it on there to hold it better. Huh, my voltmeter fell asleep. <laughs> I was wondering what was beeping over here. All right, you can see I disconnected that and put it back where it was. Uh, and the motorhome is started. Yay, success. <laughs> Hope this helps you guys someday in the future. Bye.